Hey developers, today we're gonna look at portals inside Vue 3, which is a brand new feature. Now portals aren't exactly new to Vue. There has been plugins that you can use to add portals to Vue. It's a basically a way to kind of have information show up in different places in your app without having to explicitly set it. For example, if you're in one component and you want to actually display data in a completely different component or maybe maybe even outside the app itself, maybe inside the bottom of the body, you can do that really easy with portals. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, but first let's have a quick word from our sponsor. I wanna just take a moment and thank our sponsor, Dot Tech Domains. Now when you're looking for a domain name, you're looking for a domain name usually that is short, relevant, and available. And the nice thing about the Dot Tech Domain is that it's broad enough to really cover anything in the technology space. So that's why I think the .tech domain is really perfect for any project that you guys are working on in the future, be it business or personal. In fact, I put my personal website, viewcourse.tech, on .tech domain names, and I love it. A lot of huge companies and a lot of personal projects are done on .tech domains. For example, viacom.tech, ces.tech, pearl.tech, AustinEvans.tech. A lot of people are using .tech domain names. You guys got to check it out. I put a link in the description. If you go to go.tech slash Eric, you can get up to 80% off one year and five year domains. So go to go.tech slash Eric and get up to 80% off on your domain names. Thanks. Okay, let's see if we can create a portal using the new view three portal syntax. Now, looking this up and trying to do this tutorial, I noticed that there's not a ton of information on portals yet, because Vue 3 is so new. But if you look at the Vue Next repo, it actually has some examples, and it actually has an example of how they did portals in here, and they used a text X template in here. They also have some tests. And so I kind of use this as a basis for my example here. Things may change before Vue 3 completely ships, but I just want to show you how it works. So this, this is an open modal button. If I click on it, I just have a modal that kind of adds an opacity to the background, and then I can close it, and that's pretty much it. Now, I wanted to do this so that the way this open modal button could be um, anywhere in our app, and it doesn't matter where we are, it's going to add in this portal code, basically in the root element of our app, right under the body tag, in fact. And it'll just appear full page and it'll work correctly. And I didn't want to have to worry about having this at different parts of my app, I just wanted to have it at the root level. So that was the goal. Now I created a portal app component here and it's just really simple it just has this has a couple props being passed in for title and sub and that's just like some small text at the bottom has a title here which I'm passing in the title and it also has a click handler that anytime you click this link I guess I could have made it a button but it's actually an anchor tag but once you click on this link it just changes show to false and then um, I have some a bunch of CSS which I took from some other examples online. I'll include a link to some of the other ones. I, I kind of grabbed some of the CSS from another example to just show the modal itself. And it's just really simple. Now in the index.html, this is where I want our modal to appear. I want it right under the app tag. And in fact, looking at the examples in the official examples here, they recommend that the modal container that lives outside the app root so if you don't, oh, as of right now, if you try to use a portal and the portal is inside the app root, it kind of works differently and I was having some problems. But this example will just assume that it's gonna be outside the app root of your app. So all you need to do to add in portal is to add in here. Uh, I just added a div tag and added ID of portal-target. So this is where our portal code will show up, and this is perfect. It'll be right underneath uh, the app at the end of the body. So now in our app view, I, of course I have some global CSS here. I have my pop-up, but I'm not using the pop-up anywhere in here. I'm just importing it in. 
So now, of course, we need to create the portal in our app view. So I'm going to close this to make this a little bigger. And so I'm creating a new portal. So the it has an opening and closing tag called portal. And it basically, it's everything within the portal is like a, a slot that anything will appear that you put inside between the opening closing tags the portal. And then I'm going to put the target and I'm going to use the ID selector because that's the what I put inside the index.html file of portal target. So I could have named this, you know, portal, um, portal Eric, and then put portal Eric here and it would have worked the same way. I believe you can even probably do CSS selectors too. I could have said changed this to a class if I wanted to, but ID makes a lot of sense. And now I have a button and this button will refer to a refs on our pop-up, which we'll create in a second. And so here's our pop-up. So we have a pop-up. I did a ref pop-up so I can get a, a reference for that pop-up. I'm passing in the title and the sub, so our two props, I'm binding it. And I'm just throwing some text in there, pop-up test and Eric Hanch at 2020. In fact, I could not use the colon here and just put the text in, but um, I don't know, maybe later on I'm gonna actually use something from our data component, it doesn't matter. And I wanna make sure that this refs actually reaches inside the component and grabs the show and so I can toggle it on and off. I guess if I was doing this at scale at a production app, I probably wouldn't use dollar sign refs. Maybe I would um, use sync or I would use some other way to manipulate the, the show inside the pop-up. But for this simple example, this makes uh, a lot of sense and you don't really have to worry about anything else. And now I wanna actually add data to it. So uh, I'm using slots, so I have a default slot and I just pass in the data there. And yep, that should be it. So let me save it. I'll look back. Cool, so it's working. So if I change this to pop-up test one, save it, and now it says pop-up test one. So it's definitely working correctly. Now, once if I want to change this portal target, let's see if it works with a CSS class. And so I'm going to change this to class, class, and I'm going to have a class portal target. So now if I do this, it doesn't do anything. It gives me an error in the console. But if I go back to the app view and change this to from a hashtag to a dot for a CSS selector and click it, now it works again. So it's whatever you can do, CSS selectors, ID, Basically any CSS selector will work fine in here. And then if I wanted to, I could move this somewhere else, um, but I'm, I'm not going to. I also, maybe I don't wanna do this pop-up in here and I just wanna put some random text. So I could just put in, instead of doing this pop-up, I'll do hello world, I'll save it. And now it's giving me an error that I'm using, not using pop-up, so I have to, my linter's getting mad. Now I'll save it again. Now it said, hello world world. Um, obviously I don't have any way to stop it returning. It's just always gonna appear. And uh, now it's giving me error if I press the button. But yeah, now this hello world, which actually is appearing twice, there we go, is now showing in the DOM. If I look at the DOM here, and I'll get rid of the errors here. I have my portal here but at the end of my body, I have some script tags, I have the portal target, and here's the hello world. So this whole, everything in between this portal dash target, it's right underneath the app, and it's being now moved over there. So that's really cool. So now, um, let me add it back to the way it was. So now, back to the way it was, I'll refresh it. Cool. Yeah, so that's how you use portals. The only caveat now, if you move this portal target, let's say I added it into the actual, into the uh, div ID app and tried it now, you get this weird error in the console. Oh, let me see, let me make sure it's saved and I'll save it here and I'll refresh it. Now you get this error that says invalid portal target on Mount Null. So as of now, the only way I can get this working is the portal target is outside the div ID app. Now, if you look at my package JSON file, I am using the view CLI plugin view next. So I'm actually using uh, next, uh, the latest version of view three alpha, 
using this plugin. That's how I installed it. And by the way, if you don't know how to do that, it says view the three alpha four. You just do view add view dash CLI dash plugin dash view dash next, and that'll add it to your app. Just one caveat, if you're using the router, there's a bug right now, so it wasn't working. Since we're using view CLI, uh, the plugin for next, we should be able to have multiple root nodes under our template. So I wonder if this will work. So I'm gonna, un I'm gonna put this back to the way it was and get it working. And I'll make sure I have no errors. Okay, so it still says invalid target, but I moved it back over. Um, I will make sure I don't get any errors. So give me one second. I'll make sure this is no longer class, that it's an ID. Okay, now the modal's working again, but let's say I wanna change this portal target and I wanna move it to right underneath the template. Well now, see, the, it's not working right now because ESLint is giving me an error, um, but you, this actually should work because you should be able to have multiple root nodes. So let me see if I can turn off our linter for one second. Okay, so I went ahead and turned off the linter. Essentially, I created a view config and put lint on, lint on save false. So even though this is giving me an error, as long as I have this portal target outside the ID app, it works. So I'm refreshing it, works. If I change this to two, now it says pop-up test two. So cool, as long as it's just not inside the app, we're good. Um, but luckily we can have multiple um, multiple root nodes in view three, so that works. And don't worry about this error. This is just part of ESLint, which it's not updated for view three yet. Cool, so if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of portals. Thanks.